did you know 881 children and teens in Nassau and Duval counties are in the foster care system because their parents can't provide them with the love and the care that they need. The majority of them are children of color, ranging from babies to teens, 100% of them in need of good loving families. I was a teenager when I entered the system. No matter their age, kids need love and support. To feel completely different and alone in the world can be difficult to deal with. I have met hundreds of young people like Gabby, and I'm convinced that God loves them and has a great plan for their lives. But I have a question for you. What is God's plan for your family? We knew we wanted to be parents, and that was God's will for our family. But when we discovered that it wasn't going to be biologically possible, we decided to pursue adoption. Our desire was fulfilled when we brought home a three-week-old baby girl. The Barna Research Group found that 38% of Christians have seriously considered adopting. 32% have seriously considered fostering. Now, if that's you, you may wonder, how much will this cost? How can I handle this as a single person? How can I fit a new child into my family? And what are the challenges this decision will bring? It's a lot to think about. So. That's why we've partnered with a Christian agency to get you answers and to guide you through the licensing process. At Florida Baptist Children's Homes and One More Child, we provide Christ-centered services, wraparound support, and licensing to foster parents. We're here for you every step of your foster care journey. What better way for us to be the church than to make it possible for a waiting child or teen to be welcomed into a good Christian home to receive the love and the care that they need. Our birth mother made the loving choice to place us in foster care to give us an opportunity to have a better life. At six months old, we were adopted by James and Rosetta McDaniel, and we could not have asked for better parents to raise us. We truly know and believe that our family was handpicked by God. God had a plan for Angela and Andrea, those precious twin baby girls. And God has a plan for your family. So if you've ever considered fostering or adopting, let us help you take the next step.